What's up everyone? Welcome back. Are going to be making taco seasoning chicken tenders, really chicken, um, with some amazing food on the side. And sort of like mac and cheese. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please smack a like button. Let's get into today's episode. Next episode, we're going to try to cook these up, which we'll use with the chicken. I'm actually going to use probably one or two bags of chicken taco for this. Looks like I got a recipe that I want to use to try out to make that. It's actually pretty good, I heard. Because it uses the salsa back here, the salsa you guys kind of just see in the background. And also, if Aldi's would like to sponsor my videos for cooking with their foods from their grocery store, please don't forget to get them to subscribe and to my channel and see that I'm actually cooking with their bunch of recipes or their um, from their grocery store. And trust me, Aldi's is like the top place to go for cheap food. Where do you think I got the potatoes from when I had the potatoes? Actually, no, they, the potatoes came from McDonald's, so. The stuff over here, stuff over here came from Walmart, 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 Wally World. Walmart. No, we got Tongy here, Mr. Tongs, and we flipped the chicken. Turn is by burning it and then learning how to cook with it because I'm putting it the stove top here on slow cook which is over here the buttons I put it on slow cook or medium heat or low heat excuse me and it's cooking really well and it's taking some time but it's gonna come out great now I could easily put it all the way to top and it take it five minutes or even two minutes or something like that and the chances of this the chicken burning and not cooking the center is highly now I do prefer using two hands for this but when you cook a lot and you know how to cook you can use one hand see ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it the one thing is it must that there's a hair in this mac and cheese I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a hair right here. It's irritating me. Of course, Mr. Clamps can grab it, or Mr. Tongs. Quick name is Mr. Clamps, I've forgotten. Now that's done and cooked. Now we put the grater back in there. We shut off this guy right here. Now we take... So if you're allergic to this stuff, then don't I don't suggest buying it, so because there's some people who are allergic some, to aluminum, tin foil, and different things like that. So we're gonna cut this open, and I have no other way than just to use a knife. Safety first, I guess. So.
Can you guys smell it? Well, I hope you guys can smell it. Put you... Move the camera or phone or device to your face and I hope you can smell the magical fresh food that we're cooking here at this wonderful evening. As you guys can't really tell, it's actually pretty dark outside, so usually you can see light inside, so it's actually pretty dark. So. have not subscribed to match channel please do that now otherwise please hold on and continue on because if you guys do subscribe there's more videos coming out every single week yes you heard that there's videos coming out every single week so do a favor and subscribe to Matt's channel as he's doing a tremendous job at cooking these episodes, doing cooking episodes. Just hit the bell notification down below and uh, I will notify you when a new video is out. Apparently, that's what I was told by Matt, I guess. So, uh, let's continue on. And if you guys like to see more of Skelty, come on the channel. Please hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Yes, share this video with your family, friends, and neighbors. I know you guys love this video. Possibly. And let's continue on and grow this channel out to be something humongous. As Matt has been doing a lot of good job at cooking and also making music. So with that said, we are... This is what I was told from Matt. We are bringing back the music! Woo! We're bringing back the music. Let's do it! Hit that like button! I know you want to! Alright, catch you later. Bye! <laughs> So we're going to actually take, I grabbed this cheddar stuff from my fridge, and we're going to take it and turn this chicken from the way it is into mixing it with uh, bread. So it's going to be bread, chicken, cheddar, and yeah, and uh, broccoli with cheese, it's your guys' opinion, but your personal opinion my personal opinion about the chicken with or the uh broccoli with mac and cheese is actually pretty good mm-hmm get some chicken in there mm. mix it in see the chicken and the broccoli and the uh, macaroni and cheese really good so because I did end up like I earlier you guys seen that it was actually warmed up the, the broccoli is. so I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna pause you guys here open that bag up the cheddar cheese and get you guys back and well and well. hold on a second okay now I got the cheddar back open or the bag basically I had to tear the, along that line there we're gonna put that cheese right down here. That good of a cheese right there. Put the other bread on top. Smash that bread. And uh, hopefully grab it without destroying the bread. And voila. Good. 
really delicious. So, if you guys want to make a meal like this, please don't forget to subscribe for more content like this as we're going to continue the process of making dinner and lunch and different things like that. I got three meals out of just the, um, that chicken, so, and typically I don't eat a bunch of that chicken lately, so, and this is, um, so roughly, you can go through five bucks, or short, five bucks a day for a meal, which is pretty decent. You can basically go to Taco Bell for five bucks and get their, uh, five dollar menu, their box, so, I haven't been going out to fast food lately. I only went out to fast food one time, and that's actually for Chick-fil-A. I had a coupon that was given to me, and I wanted to use it, so I actually used it for uh, chicken nuggets in their mashed potato, or their potato macaroni and cheese and something like that, so hope you guys enjoy this, and uh, don't forget to Subscribe down below for more videos like this, and don't forget to hit the like button um, next to it, And as we are still going to continue making food here in East Madison, or West Madison, well, anyways, in Madison, Wisconsin, so I hope you guys enjoy your guys' night, and we'll catch you on the next video. Peace.